Okay, I have a new rule for myself. And I'm probably gonna break it here shortly. But this new rule that I have is that I'm only gonna shoot videos whenever I have something to say. <laughs> now, I, I know that I, I talk a lot and I'm very redundant and I say the same thing over and over again. And so, that's why I'm attempting to execute this new rule. Because I'm getting bored of myself. Now, I realize though that like, what I do is essentially like the B sides, the C sides, the D, E, F sides. Okay, you know how like, if you're a music snob like I am, you probably have a lot of B-sides. You probably have all the underground shit, you know? Like, I knew about them before everybody else knew about them, which proves that I care more about them than you think that you care about them. Now, it's not about ego. It's really not. It's not about ego. It's not about being the number one fan. You know, we're not trying to be Kathy Bates over here, okay? It's just about appreciation. And I think that somebody that, that listens to B-sides probably appreciates that artist more than somebody that doesn't even know about the B-sides, right? Because they want to understand the process of it. They understand the artistic value of whatever that person is producing rather than just being mindlessly entertained by it, you know? But anyway, if you watch a lot of my videos, you understand that I'm that kind of artist that really understands the purpose of art, not just, you know, the entertainment aspect of it. like these little noises that I make, these little sound effects. But I was going to talk about consciousness. I was going to talk about the price that one pays for being a conscious person in America, the most unconscious country in the world. Um, I say that because so many of our products are very, very dangerous products that we consume, the products that we put in our bodies, all the stuff that we look at, all the stuff that we listen to is very toxic. And the less conscious people are, the more obviously unhealthy they're going to be. Which is why, hold on, I, I really need to get into the other lane. probably like you know the meat industry and the dairy industry like if you're really conscious of like what they do to the animals you're probably not going to enjoy an ice cream cone you know you're not going to be able to eat a piece of bacon with the same level of like impunity as a person that doesn't care about that and I think that that's true of like everything. You know, that's true of watching television. That's true of, uh, you know, the news media. Like if you know that the news media is garbage, you're not gonna watch it and care. Um, if you know that politicians like are all the same and they're all gonna screw us, then you're probably not gonna vote for them. If you know that money that you make in this life and, and the status that you have 
whether it's status in this country or it's status like you know in society or whatever it's like if you know that that doesn't mean anything you're not you're not really gonna care like how much money you can make or you know how popular you get or whatever my reward system is like completely different than everybody else's I have additional dopamine receptors in my brain so that's why like nothing affects me the way that it affects everybody else apparently but there's definitely a price and the price that I pay is to be ostracized the price that I pay is to not enjoy what other people enjoy I mean, one of the reasons I don't enjoy sex is because I'm too conscious of the, uh, end result of sex. You know, it, it's like, if you want to make a baby, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But if you don't want to make a baby, then it's just this hassle. And it's just another example of carnal pleasures and how human beings like behave like animals and, and not in, in like a, a good way. And, you know, a lot of people think that I'm so like, you know, prudish about it. I mean, why do you think I drank so much? I thought, I thought that something was wrong with me. So, you know, I drank so that I would enjoy sex and I really didn't enjoy it, but I, I still did it. And I think that alcoholism really made sense out of, you know, a lot of really terrible things that people do in our society. Because all those terrible things made perfect sense to me when I was, like, hammered. But, I don't know, I'm an illegitimate child, so, like, I really understand, like, that, that having sex is like, it's a responsibility, you know, you shouldn't fuck irresponsibly, and that doesn't mean get on birth control, I mean, I, I can't really enjoy anything that people enjoy, just because I, I understand that it's all bullshit, you know, like, all these people I work with, like, they're obsessed with football, so, there's always a football game going on in the background. I just don't care, you know? But, like, they look at me the same way I look at them. Like, when they're watching football, I don't care. Like, I'm reading the Bible, they don't care, you know? So, I guess it's just, like, where you choose to place your consciousness. But, the result of placing your conscious, consciousness where, you know, I personally, in my humble opinion, think that you should place your consciousness, um, you know, on spiritual things, you know, I feel like the, the price that you pay is just, yeah, to, to be regarded as a weirdo and a freak and, you know, not belong to this world, you know, but, you know, I don't want to belong to this world, I hate this world, this world's a horrible, horrible place that's run by the Prince of Darkness, you know, so... The last thing I want to do is belong to this shithole, but, you know, everybody's going to think you're a freak. I don't like the term Jesus freak, though. I don't like that term at all. I think that we need to come up with a new term. <laughs> when I think freak, I think of like a ball gag or some shit like that. I don't want to think about that in regards to my Lord and Savior, you know? Um... Though people would definitely describe him as masochistic, but... No, he, he's, he's sadistic, baby. He's sadistic. Because he's destroying the devil. Okay? Why do you think the devil is so afraid of him? He's, he's got to hire all these motherfuckers to work for him. In order to prohibit him from being able to save anybody. I mean, it's... <sighs> 
it's terrible that I just got on that subject, you know? I don't, I don't want to be thinking like that, but, you know, maybe if I talked about it in that way, I could get people to understand it. Because I think that I have a real knack for being able to put things together in a way that nobody's ever heard before. And that's precisely what comedy is all about. You know, taking two different subjects and talking about them in a really weird way. No! No! I'm shooting a video right now. Y'all want to be part of it? No! West side! No! <laughs> Love you, Pond Cam. Goodbye. I gotta go get my baby. Love you. <laughs> you coming in here? Unfortunately. Yeah. Come and do something. Well, okay. don't let them drive you crazy. I won't, I'm already crazy. It's been, <laughs> it's been bad. They won't be successful. <laughs> bye. bye bye. No. Yes, babies. <laughs> Those are my people. Anyway, it's always nice whenever I have like my my coworkers or my comic friends joining in on the fun that is my life, my my YouTube video life. It's really weird when I think about that. Like I have so many different lives, you know. Typical schizos they call this double bookkeeping, but I would say this is like triple, maybe quadruple or quintuple bookkeeping. Hold on one second, I gotta get my shoesies. So that's cool. If I'm on shakes tonight, that means I could just read the Bible. Because if there's nothing to do, that's that's always what I end up doing. But yeah. Yeah, so schizophrenics, they, they do this thing called double bookkeeping where they, they feel like they have to keep track of their, their different lives. And I'm very aware of that. So it's like, I don't feel like I'm lying to people or anything, but I know that I have different experiences with different people you know like my youtube people they know my conspiratorial mindset i mean i feel like everybody does to some extent because i'm very open and honest about the way that i feel about things but you know my my life here at steak and shake versus my life doing stand-up comedy versus my life on the internet versus my life just in my house with my cats versus my spiritual life with me and God, you know, it all sort of like morphs together. But like, it's just interesting if you think about it, how like, you know, you're like a different person to like everybody. I try to be very consistent though. So I make sure that everybody knows I'm a conspiracy theorist, you know? Cause I think a lot of people struggle with that. like. They can't tell people how they truly feel. But as inconsistent as I might be in my regular life, I'm very consistent all across the board. Like I've said before, conspiracy theories, Christianity, and comedy, it's not something you say, it's something you do. There are plenty of people that do comedy, or they, so they say, but they can't take a joke. There are plenty of people that say they're a Christian, but they don't have any regard for the poor. There are plenty of people that say they're a conspiracy theorists, but they have a 5G phone that they're constantly using to whine about the government. All right, this is what I'm talking about. We do conspiracies. We don't we don't say we don't say things, we do things, okay?
people need to read the Bible more. I mean, I tell people in my church, like, the Bible gives you life. Like, why wouldn't you want to read it all the time? It's the Word of God. Like, it will help you so much in your life. And I guarantee you, when you start reading it, you'll understand exactly what I mean, and you'll want to keep reading it. Because you'll realize, like, how much of an instruction manual it really is. And that if everybody just followed it, they would be so happy, and we would have the best world ever. But people don't see the value of it. They might quote it unironically on their telegram, but if they really read it, they wouldn't be on fucking telegram. <laughs>